Uh, guys, here at the 2018 uh, Basel Fair, here with the incredible Felix Baumgartner and Martin Frey, uh, who are collectively Uwerk, one of my favorite brands. Uh, guys who created, for me, the language of contemporary time uh, keeping um, into an expressive language. Now, they've created something that's really interesting. Um, in some ways, it's very spiritually connected to Breguet's Sympathique, which if you guys know a little bit about watchmaking, is a, a desk clock that, and a pocket watch, and they were synchronized. So you could put the pocket watch into the desk clock, and it would uh, regulate and give the time to this uh, this pocket watch. Um, so Felix, tell us a little bit about what, what this is. This looks like a, an atomic clock, is that correct? Yes. <clears throat> so it's, it's, it's for me a, a dream, a, a really a work and investment, which is coming through now which goes over the uh, last eight years. Right. Um, we are working on AMC, it's Atomic Mechanical Control. So it's, it's a bridge somehow between the history uh, of, of Brugge's Sympathique, for me the most interesting, intelligent, mechanism complicated watch produced ever. Yes. It's the first time in, uh, in, in, in watchmaking where actually two machines connect. Yes. And even in the whole world, it's the first machines they can connect to Burke's Sympathic. So cool. to make a homage to this, we actually found um, the most precise atomic module of today, which is uh, working now in this clock here. It's in 300,000 years, one second off. Wow. So um, you have uh, here, for example, a button where you can go you, you can here actually have the hour, minute, seconds. So in case you find the one thousandth of a second, and like stressful. And you have, exactly. you have, yes, busy. exactly. You can stop here, Martin, where you have mm -hmm. the hold. Right there. Hold, yeah, you, you stop it for so yeah, just to look at it. You have the atomic time hold here. Right. So. Um, it's the atomic mother, which right. is transmitting to the wristwatch 100% mechanical, intelligent wristwatch, Fantastic. the atomic time regulated right. over weeks and months. You have it here. This is the wristwatch, which is 100% mechanical. So here you have the, the movement which is a, uh, really a work of several years of development, which is able to get the push, the correction, the atomic correction of the mother uh, being regulated. So at that moment, we are able now to fix now it's positioned in the, in the atomic clock and it can be regulated uh, assembled, time set it and wound here, for example here, we have the winding mechanism. That's great. And on midnight we have uh, a regulation and a time setting on, on the seconds. So to reinitialize the piece you have here a button. Reset. So now it's resetting the whole, so it's connecting to the most precise GPS, six different GPS signals, so six atomic clocks together are I initializing this atomic uh, model. Incredible. Yeah, so this is during now, during one minute. It's okay, so you were saying that at midnight it, it regulates the, 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 the wristwatch. Yes. Um, is it possible to just regulate it on demand as well? Um, you need actually a full hour. Oh, I see. It's okay. a full hour, but you right. can demand it on every full hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's the first time, actually, Dolgi at the time, he had only two functions. <laughs> yes. He did in total 11 pieces. Yes. Um, he what did were the two functions? One was time setting. Actually, it was time setting and rewinding. And, and rewinding. Yes. Or time setting and regulating. Oh, I he see. never did the three functions ah, all together in one. Right. So this is the first time you have the three functions in one, and really? you also have a seconds indicator. He at the time he didn't have the second indicator. Right. He did only at the minutes and the hours. Incredible. So it's it's kind of an evolution out of the Brugge Sympathique's. And of clocks. course, to, to celebrate the mechanical watch. Of course. Yes. 
Frame. Well, it's also kind of a really interesting evolution for the EMC concept, which is a watch that you could measure the performance of your watch and then you could regulate your watch after that as well. So it's this whole idea of um, using technology to regulate a mechanical watch in a more and more precise way, which I think is really interesting. And you brought it to the ultimate evolution here because I don't think anyone's going to get more precise than an atomic clock. So that's really cool. You know, it's pretty badass, Felix. <laughs> It's the top. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And, and may I ask, um, what is the objective with this incredible uh, device? Are you going to make them to for sale? Is this something for the, your museum? I mean, what's what's that? The objective basically is is research. Yes. It's for us. It's it's for our love to mechanics and electronics. Yes. Um, we have several uh, museums which are interested to exhibit uh -huh. the piece. Yes. So this is. Uh, somehow the, the, the main uh, idea of that object, of that project. Um, we have three pieces in total we are finishing right. during the next three years. Right. Yeah. And that's it. And then you'll decide at that point as to what you'll do with them. Actually every year in the next three years we have one piece coming out. Okay. Um, will, but you will you sell them? Or? Yes. yes ah, three. Great. Yes. Fantastic. We have actually a fourth piece which is our own, <coughs> uh, which is traveling around the world. Yes. No. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, some Great. questions from the Instagram live feed. One, what is the price? Two, how heavy is it? And three, how often can you or should you regulate the watch? So, for, merci. So the, the weight is, is quite impressive. So this is, you can close like this. The atomic clock, you can fix it here. And then you can feel the heaviness here it's 30 <laughs> kilos. It's 30 kilos. It's 30 kilos. Amazing. So it's really solid metal here. Um, then this, the second question about the price, it's far over a million, but it's not yet fixed. And it depends the finish. Um, sorry, the, the third question. The third question is how often or how, how often can you or should you regulate the watch? So this is really up to the um, to the person using it. So it's basically it's a chronometer uh, mechanical watch. Um, so if you are into the, the idea, basic of Brugge Sympathic is that during the night you put your wristwatch into the motor and it gets wind wind up, time set it and time regulated. So you do it actually once a day, but it's up to you. It's kind of sexual. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's exactly, exactly, it's exactly the First same. Every <laughs> hour, <laughs> it can be done every, every hour. hour can be it takes at least an hour the whole process. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. Exactly. Thanks very much, Felix. It's really cool. It's fantastic. Really. Cool.